Hello boat fans, this is Tim from Boats of Brighton uh, and the next in our little series of what to look at when your boat's out of the water. So here we are underneath a westerly 4 mile 32 and uh, we're going to look at the um, below the waterline part of the hull. So as you can see up here we've got nice shiny gel coat and then we've got the boot topping here which forms the, um, the join between the gel coat and the anti-foul here. Now the anti-foul is a special paint that's designed to repel marine growth, so things that want to stick to your boat and live on them, like live on it, like barnacles, etc. Um, this, um, along with, it, with its copper contents, um, hopefully will repel the animal from sticking on. Um, and if the animal does try to stick on, the way it's uh, um, put together, the actual paint itself, is designed to flake and cause the animal to drop back off again. And uh, it's usually pretty good, as long as you look after it. So, um, yeah, the, the the anti foul does look um, thin in places, it's, it's quite old, quite worn and you can see patches where where it's uh, flaked away etc etc but my chief um, observation here is that we've got a condition called osmosis which you may have heard of before and if I just get a bit closer here you can see this area of uh, basically pimples and I'm just going to go around the other side where it's easy to see too. Um, come here we can see more pimples here. Um, I've put my hand there for the scale. They're not huge, but they are there. And what that means is that salt water has permeated the uh, the hull and got between the gel coat, which is the nice shiny white stuff here, and the chopped strand and matting, which is the the GLP behind the gel coat that gives the boat its strength. So. What's happened is that the pressure has built up between the chop strand matting and the gel coat and it's caused these bumps to appear. Now that's not terminal, but it's not desirable. It shows that some kind of degradation is going on and it can be fixed. Some people are very scared of it and will walk away from a boat like this. Other people who may be more pragmatic understand that um, it can be just a, a, a sand down and a gel coat reapplied, but it is quite a big job and a lot of work. You can see actually if I move aft, more bubbles along there and you can see actually here where the, where the surveyor scrapes away with his tool, if you look closely you can see white spots. Now the red has been scraped away showing a blue layer uh, which is probably old anti foul underneath it and then a grey layer and then we've got these white spots and these white spots here are the raised pimples where salt water has got in permeated in and is now pushing the white gel coat this way towards the camera so causing these these bumps to appear um, and a, a good way to identify osmosis apart from its visual uh, looks is um, if you take one of these pimples in and burst it with, with a, a sharp tool uh, you'll most likely get um, liquid oozing out and it smells very strongly of vinegar so if you've got vinegar leak, leaking out the, uh, the pimples then you know that you've got osmosis or all over this is pretty obvious so yeah that's what we're looking for um, you need someone with experience or a professional to sort that out um, but it's not the end of the world this is an aging boat which is a westerly very well made it's not uncommon to see this but uh, yeah I thought it'd like a look um, I'm sure there are those amongst you who know more than I do and uh, may have spotted a mistake in anything I've said please if you have just let me know but uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, maybe you've learned something this morning. Take care and enjoy your day.